guys and welcome to Crafting with Lola and Oscar. I know it's been a long time since I've posted. I am now a full-time RVer and the months that I've been uh, MIA, I have been in the process of selling my home, getting my RV, doing the things that I need to, um, to get on the road full-time. So I want to do a quick little video. I'm here in California for right now. I just want to do a quick little video on a little uh, project I did for a friend of mine um, and using some of the dyes, uh, some of the, um, just something really quick. And these little books actually, she got these little books from somewhere and then she had some leftover ones and it had something on the front. And we were trying to think of a creative way to still use the book without having to go through all the trouble trying to take all the stuff that was on there. And so I said, well, hmm, I know what we can do. We can use this corner die, this beautiful rose corner die, a butterfly die, uh, a square die, because we need some backing, as you can see, to color on. I used some tri-blend pencils, um, some glue, um, a corner rounder, and then some of these, um, y'all know I can never remember what these things are called. Anyway, some of these doodads. We're going to call them doodads. And we created some really, really cute little books as for a small event. Of some of the ladies are going to go on a cruise. And so here is the result. All right. So that uh, came out really, they came out really, really pretty. I tried to make them all different and kind of, go, kind of going with the base of the color of the book. That's one of my favorite ones. I love this purple one. I think it's so pretty. And then I have to admit, I do like the orange one. But I want you to see what they look like. Very easy. Now, it is a little long process because you remember you're doing all this. You're cutting the butterflies out two times, which is 16, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 18 butterflies. Um, and each one of these, uh, the roses has to be cut out once. Then the backing on it has to be cut out. So it's quite a little process, but they really came out quite lovely, I must, must say. Uh, here's another pretty purple one. I really like that one as well. And then the yellow one, I love that. I put a little orange, a little, just a little touch of orange in there because it was just kind of boring. And then we have that one there. And then the last one is just another blue one. So I hope you like this idea. Um, again, if, uh, little small books, you can do all kinds of things to, um, you know, bring them up a couple of notches. So thanks, you guys, for watching. And I'll give you one more little scan of the peach one, a blue one. It's a little bit different. See, I did the blue. See if you can see. Let me put them together. Yeah, let me do it like that so you can kind of see how the blue ones. I did the do, the little blue ones a little bit different, one from the other, as well as the purples. And I'll show you the purples. Those are a little, a little bit different from the other. Then I did do the yellow ones the same. So I kept that the, the yellow ones. I kind of kept them the same. Uh, where it has that touch of orange in it. And then these two are a little bit different where I, I started light and you can see how I kind of changed the colors on those a little bit with the red ones. So that is it. Thank you for watching. And I do hope to, I'll be putting something up, especially that part two of the book that I'm working on with the sunflower. So if you haven't watched that out, that latest video um, that's an album, and it has sunflowers. I'm gonna. I'm finishing up third page. Um, it's just been so much going on trying to get established, get across the drive across country, and all that comes with this new lifestyle. But I will be settling in for the winter. Um, so I'm gonna be on one place for six months. So I'll be able to get more videos up and more consistently. So please don't leave me. <laughs> I'll be back. Okay. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.